let's go get it. If I can get out of it. Damn. Damn small cars. Let's do it. This hotel's one of those Brooklyn reclamation projects. It actually used to be a factory where they made doors. Oh, wow. Look at this place. All right, guys, just follow me. Okay. Come on in. Flying this on a stick? This is way better than Manhattan. Oh, my God. Right? This is like 10 rooms in Manhattan. All right, Brooklyn, I see you. This hotel's just two and a half years old. Every room has different knickknacks that just come from random collections, warehouses. They just come from a little bit everywhere. It's really cool. Well... I'm happy with my purchase. I'm going to take a shower and freshen up. Please do so. For all of our sakes. <laughs> like that, huh? Okay. We decided to get out and explore a little on foot. What do you got? Posted a tweet, what to do in Brooklyn. It's cold in Brooklyn. It's not a game. The fans showed a yeah. lot of love. Appreciate the love, man. Stay up. Believe it or not, my wife loves you. Is that why you say believe it or not? Like, she wouldn't want to love me. Why would she? She's like, hey, you. <laughs> you know what I mean. We even ran into the mayor of Brooklyn. Ralph Jawad's little Fort Green bodega has been around since the 70s. How you doing, Ralph? I'm right, baby. Take care. So long the neighborhood leaves their spare keys with him for safekeeping. I know what goes down, whether it's the thugs or regular people in general. Everybody comes over here and they tell me their problems. It's a lot of responsibility. So we ran back to the hotel to catch the box house cab. Well, we had it today. Now we're trying to meet up with our buddies, Dulé Hill and Jaleel White. You got the address? 16 minutes away. They're in town for Dulé's Broadway show. Dulé's been talking all kind of nonsense about bowling. So Andres and I are going to meet him at Brooklyn Bowl and settle this. Dulé actually was one of the stars in one of my first gigs. I did an episode of The West Wing. Then went on to be friends with him through our other friend, Makai Pfeiffer. And Makai is a big bowler. Dulé is a bowler. I like to think I'm a bowler. I suck at uh, bowling. And we all talk crazy. That's all right. I wouldn't be surprised if Dulé has warmed up all day for this. Brooklyn Bizzle. How do we get in? Much love to Brooklyn Bowl for opening the place up for us in the morning. What's the deal, man? Everything cool? The talent has arrived. Well, I'm glad what? Everything is good. How you doing? I'm doing good. Guys. Yeah, you doing good. What up? Big up. We have the competition. Jaleel White, who happened to be in town, is a good friend of ours. And Dulé Hill, also known as the glove one. The gloved one. To himself. He bowls with a glove. He had a very strong Michael Jackson influence as a child. My glove is in L.A. He asked me if I could bring his glove from L.A. How's the show going, man? We're having a good time. I've heard nothing but the best. I'm peeping in tonight. Jay's coming tonight. Not many people know this, but Dulé's been a tap dancer since he was 10 years old. He's on Broadway right now in the Harlem Renaissance period piece, After Midnight. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah. I'll pay for my tickets, by the way. I'll give you my promo code. There you go. <laughs> now, unless you haven't had a television for the last 20 years, you recognize this guy. Jaleel White. You know him from Family Matters, from Total Blackout, from Dancing with the Stars, but you can also catch him in the latest season of Drunk History. It's a talented dude. Yes, sir. We gotta get the names. We got Larry Kane. It's all about the names. And promo code. Promo code. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just big up. Big, big zero. Big zero. You see how they do me? I appreciate you guys opening up the spot for it. I've never seen a stage at a bowling alley. That's yeah. awesome. We have some of the best acts in the world play here. I think we're the first people to build a real music venue and a real bowling alley together in one. The story of this space is another Brooklyn transformation, from old ironworks to one of the hottest nightclubs in the city, with Brooklyn Brewery beers on tap and concert hall acoustics. The pins are on strings. Brooklyn Bowl. We gonna fire up. My man Glove One is giving my cameraman Mark some bad luck. He's about to drop that bowling ball on your dome. Let's get it out! I didn't come here to play games. I came here to pull. Glove or no glove. I don't even know too many black people who know that curve move. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Oh, oh, Come on, oh, man. Boy. Come on, man. We come to bowl or what? Come on, man. Now he's all in my ear. Come on. Ah! They don't talk to Tiger Woods when he puts. <laughs> you don't talk to me when I'm bowling. <laughs> we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Shut up and go. It's not gonna do it, no. Ah! You saw that? I, I seen it. Ah! Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh you see that? Can we get a one-on-one -on -one interview? Can you go talk to a camera about that? The camera on my face right now. Get the camera out of my face. <laughs> So, when we got to the last frame, we decided to make things a little more interesting. I'll make a wager. I had $5 on the 10th. I mean, this is only one frame. Why don't we make it 20? This is only one frame. Whoa! Big money here! Spot me. I got you. Talking all that trash. Talking all that jazz. And now we gotta deal with this. Sammy Davis over here. <laughs> That's not gonna do it, though. I see you. Oh, it's really a 
Drake got it. Andre just gave his 20 away. Next game, you can.